top five things you need to know about the Tribeca CMA. Number one, graphs and charts. So every single graph and chart inside of the Tribeca CMA is editable, meaning that if you click on it, you can edit anything about it. You can edit the color, you can add your information here, you can even upload a CSV file of your MLS information and it will auto-populate directly in here to make it really easy for you to edit. We also have examples of graphs on the area page as well and all of them are editable including the five star review so you can change the icons or you can change the amount of stars you can change the spacing you have full absolutely full control of all of these these are also graphs and you can change the percentage and the line weight of those as well so you'll notice that some of the pictures in this document have a transparency set to about 90 and that's so that this background color seeps through so your own brand color let's say that it was this color here as soon as you change the background color you'll notice that that color seeps through the image and this is a great way to add your brand color and a little bit of brand recognition a little bit of brand um, aesthetics to this template without going overboard so it's a very subtle way to introduce your brand colors to this document and you can do it for all the photos in here just change the background color to your brand color and you'll notice it makes a huge difference in the aesthetic of the photo and the entire vibe of the CMA. Number three, the commission breakdown. So this commission breakdown has been altered a little tiny bit and I'm going to show you how. So this is in effect a graph and so you can edit it the same way that I mentioned that all graphs are editable. However, I added these numbers over top because when you when you head to settings and hit show labels, you'll notice that it puts it on the outside of the circle, which I didn't like. So I just popped in the information over top manually. So that's something that you would have to do as well if you want to change these numbers and percentages, or you can simply select show labels, change the color to whatever color you'd like, and then you're good to go. Number four, comparables. One of the questions that I get asked most often about our CMAs is how the heck do I make adding the comparables super duper easy? So I have a trick for you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a screenshot of your, C of your populated MLS CMA and you're going to pop that into Canva like this. So let's say that this is the CMA that your, um, your MLS system populated for you, you're going to pop it into this document and then you have two options. You can literally just pop it into the document like this. You can change the background color to white to make it look like uh, very seamless and just adjust anything that needs adjusting and then you're good to go. Or you can add a page here, pop in your comparables and then head to edit photo and if you have the pro version of Canva, select grab text and what this will do is it will remove the text it will make it editable it will grab the text from the background and then you have all this editable data from your cma and you can add that to every single column which makes it super duper easy now you can also you can see that it looks a little bit wonky right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the background so i'm only left with the information that i want and then i can with my mouse select all of the information from the cma come up here, I can select any column and then paste it in and you can see that it adjusts the, the font to match perfectly and I'm good to go. Now the only thing that I would suggest you do is before you do that, when you're setting up this template to suit your needs, make sure that everything in this column here matches how your MLS system populates data exactly. Once you have this left hand column perfectly matching your MLS data, then all of this will line up. It's just a matter of now heading up to spacing and spacing it out so that they match all of the, um, so that the spacing matches in each column. Number five is printing best practices. So printing is something that if you're doing this on a home printer, then you're good to go. You can, you can play around with the settings and you're good. When people run into problems is when they head to professional printers and then things aren't looking like they did on screen. So I'm gonna walk you through a few best practices when it comes to printing your CMA. Number one, always head to grid view 
and take a look at how left and right pages work together. So if it's me, I'm gonna delete any unnecessary pages. So you'll notice here that we have a few alternative pages like the team page where we don't need all three of these pages. You're either a single agent or you're a team. So select the layout that works for you and then delete the rest and also the cover page. We have an alternative cover page for you. So delete the cover page that you're not gonna be using. So let's say I wanna delete these two pages and as well as this one and this one. Let's delete those. And now we have our document the way that it would be if we we're printing it. So it looks like this. We have our cover page and then we have a left page and a right page, a left page and a right page, a left page and a right page. So what essentially this does is show us how the magazine will look once it's professionally printed. So bird's eye view is a really great way to look at left and right pages and how they'll look once they're printed. The second thing that you should always do, so what you wanna do is head to file, view settings, show print bleed. And what this will do is it will show you where the printer is going to be trimming your document. And you wanna make sure that any photos that you want to have reaching the edge of the page bleeds out past that line. Right? So you, for example, you don't want it to look like this because you run the risk of having this black line in your document. There's always a margin for error that printers want you to account for. But what you want to do is be very mindful of this dotted line because that's where the printer is going to make his cuts. So you don't want any text hitting that line or getting even close to that line, we wanna leave quite a healthy margin so that it doesn't look like it was almost cut off when it gets printed. So when we're downloading this and preparing it for print, we're gonna select download, we're gonna select PDF print, we're gonna flatten our PDF and this, what this does is it allows, it doesn't allow, sometimes when you open up a PDF document, you're able to adjust things in the PDF. This flattens the document so that you cannot adjust anything. And then you're gonna select CMYK, which is best for prof professional printing, it says it right there and you're going to include crop marks and bleeds for your professional printer. And then you're gonna select download and everything is gonna look great. And that is it my friends, happy designing and I hope you enjoy the Tribeca CMA.